my name is Julie Long. Welcome to the 2020 BioBlitz. This year will be... Hello, thank you for joining us for the 2020 Hemiptera BioBlitz, sponsored by Great Basin National Park. This BioBlitz is going to focus on Hemiptera true bugs, and we are going to use the expertise of a great team. Amy Springer and Cody Holthouse are Utah State University graduate students who are leading this BioBlitz, and Mark Larice Casanova with the Utah Master Naturalist Program is helping us with the iNaturalist part of it. From Great Basin National Park, we have Julie Long, who has been uh, dealing with all the emails associated with this BioBlitz. And my name is Gretchen Baker. I'm the ecologist at the park and a master of logistics. So what do we do with the BioBlitz? Well, each year since 2009, we focus on an order of class of invertebrates um, and sometimes vertebrates or, or other groupings. So in 2009, we started with Coleoptera, which are beetles. And then in 2010, we went on and looked at crickets and grasshoppers and other related um, invertebrates that were classified under orthopteroids. In 2011, we looked at bees, wasps, and ants, otherwise known as Hymenoptera. In 2012, it was the diptera, or the flies. In 2013, we looked at arachnids, uh, and you can see a, a photo down at the bottom of one of the scorpions found in the park. Um, we did a lot of work at night for that bio blitz and found some really cool things. We looked at spiders and mites also. And 2014, the lepidoptera, and that was interesting because we had did butterflies during the day and moths at night. In 2015, we got our feet wet and went into the streams to look at some of the most common stream insects, such as the Thumeroptera, Plecoptera, and Trichoptera. 2016, we changed our way we thought all together and we looked at birds um, and updated our bird park list. In 2017, we checked out lichens um, and that ended up resulting in a peer-reviewed paper of the lichens of Great Basin National Park. In 2018, we went back to beetles because um, if you look at beetles at different times of the year, you find different species. And then in 2019, we looked at bats. And over all these years, we have added about 75 families to the park taxonomic list. So the BioBlitz is a really cool event where we have people come in for a short period of time and we really study something in depth and we all learn something new and get to explore the park. Um, and it's really fun. This year, it's going to be a little bit different of COVID-19. But our BioBlitz objectives are going to stay the same. We really want to share the interest of what we're looking at and this year, the Hemiptera, the true bugs. So we also hope to document some of the Hemiptera in the park during the month of July and find out where these species occur, different elevations, different habitats. Um, we want to appreciate the diversity that's found within the park. Um, through the BioBlitz, we want to meet others who are interested in insects and invertebrates, nature, and just the outdoors in general. Uh, we can strengthen our park partnerships and have a good time. We, the BioBlitz is always a good way to have a good time. Here's a map of Great Basin National Park, and I'll give you a really quick overview of the park. The Great Basin Visitor Center is located down in the town of Baker, and five miles up the hill is the Lehman Caves Visitor Center, which is currently closed. Um, the Wheeler Peak Scenic Drive and all the roads in the park are open, and the Scenic Drive takes you all the way up to 10,000 feet in elevation. And from there, there are a number of great hikes like the Alpine Lakes, the Wheeler Peak Summit Trail. You can also go to the Bristle Cones and the Glacier from there. We also have a road that goes in from the, the park entrance to the Baker Creek area with another great series of, of trails in there. And then if you go a little farther south, we have our Snake Creek Road, um, more trails there that are fantastic. Um, and then when you get farther south of Snake Creek, you start not finding as many amenities. There are um, very few streams, very few springs, very few roads and trails. So that's kind of the wild part of the park in the southern part. Our BioBlitz schedule this year looks a bit different than other years, um, but we are trying to make it work for as many people as can. As right now, you can start practicing um, putting in your submissions into iNaturalist because we're going to use iNaturalist a lot for this BioBlitz. And so we have a project set up, iNaturalist.org backslash projects uh, backslash Great Basin NP BioBlitz practice with hyphens in between all those. Um, and then starting 
Monday, July 13th, we will have these BioBlitz videos available in the Parks YouTube channel. Um, and so this will be a cool way that you can watch the videos more than once if you really want to absorb this information. And the videos are fantastic. Um, Cody and Amy have just put together a fantastic way of learning about Hemiptera. They're really engaging. You're going to learn all sorts of cool trivia and ecology and natural history about these um, and Hemiptera. And um, I really encourage you to take the time to watch them because they do such a fantastic job with them. And then July 15th through the 17th is collecting time. Um, so you can go collect um, and there is a BioBlitz video about how to do different collecting. Um, and so you can do that uh, and then upload your observations into the iNaturalist project. Um, that is the Great Basin NP 2020 Hemiptera BioBlitz. And that will let us all see what you're collecting and help identify that. Uh, we will also have a Zoom call each day, July 15th, 16th, and 17th, so we can check in and have a little sense of community and be able to help answer any questions you might have. So I, I do want to encourage you to be safe while you're out there. Um, so if you're driving or hiking anywhere, be do so carefully. Watch out for those environmental conditions. Um, I, we are having a heat wave right now, and so our daytime temperatures are in the 90s and sometimes even over 100. So um, if you're around here, be very cognizant of that heat. Um, elevation, if you're going up high, can really have a big effect on you. Um, darkness, be prepared for that. And then watch out for that hazardous weather. Uneven terrain if you're going hiking, um, and then communications, always be aware of what's, uh, what kind of communications you might have. So our main park phone number is 775-234-7331 if you have any concerns or questions. And then, of course, if you have an emergency anywhere, call 911. So what to take with you when you are going out and doing your collecting. Um, so a magnifying glass or a loop um, can be really helpful because some of these hemipterans are really tiny really, really tiny. So they can, that can be very helpful to see them bigger. A sweep net can be very useful for going through the vegetation and getting some of these uh, insects. If you don't have a sweep net, fortunately, you can make one with some wire clothes hangers and a pillowcase. Um, and so there's, a, a, if you go to kitchenpantryscientist.com, homemade backslash and then homemade sweep net from outdoor science lab for kids it gives you step-by-step -step directions or just google how to make a sweep net and you'll find several sources um, if you have a little plastic container to put what you catch into it that will help you look at it better so a petri dish some kind of vial a plastic container um, your camera camera um, it can just be a phone camera though it's work pretty well um, and then a phone or tablet with the iNaturalist app installed. Tweezers can be great so that when you have something in your net, you can transfer it to the vial. And then if you're going to do anything at night, a um, headlamp, a black light, and a sheet. So you can put the black light on the sheet and see what comes into it and the headlamp so you can move around safely. And then if you're going hiking, um, think about your layers of clothes, your water, your food. And no matter where you are, take your sense of curiosity with you. Okay, so iNaturalist, a little bit more on that. It's a fantastic um, program. We actually not only have iNaturalist pages set up for this BioBlitz, but also just for the park in general. So um, iNaturalist.org backslash projects backslash Great Basin National Park will take you to the park's um, BioBlitz page, or uh, sorry, regular page, and you can see um, what's being seen all summer. And these pages are being mined more and more frequently by organizations that analyze that data to see what kind of trends are going on. So it's a great thing to use wherever you are. Um, and there can be some friendly competitions on who's seen the most species. Um, so it's fun to play with, play with it. And um, it also really helps you learn how to identify things better because it gives you suggestions of what that plant or what that animal or what that insect is that you are seeing. So now we're ready to get started. I'm excited for this BioBlitz and I hope you are too. If you have any other questions, join us on one of the Zoom calls or send us an email at gerba underscore bioblitz at nps.gov and go out there, be strong, have fun, and we look forward to seeing what you find. Bye. Thanks so much for your interest in this year's BioBlitz. We look forward to your submissions on iNaturalist.